the only thing that the problem the only problem with this phone on stock factory image will be like um the google, the google g apps footprint is pretty big so when when you need to update all the g apps that is available all the google related stuff that is available in this phone you wouldn't have enough space actually to do the update this this access has the same issues as the nexus one as well where they are they only have one gig of um, system or data, system data space and stuff so so once you actually update everything you are left with like virtually no space for anything else so for me um if you want to be you want this phone to be a bit more usable you should actually flash to a custom either uh, cm11 lineage or mocky rom and flash it over with a smaller google uh, google uh, g apps footprint and that will actually give you more space to play with and a more usable phone. In today's video, I'm going to go through with you guys the step-by-step -step guide on actually how to flash the uh, Google Nexus S to a custom ROM, the, the stable, the last stable custom ROM from from the actually from the Mocky open source. I think that's the only file that I have left uh, from a stable release. I'll leave a link down below where you can actually download the, uh, the, uh, the firmware itself for you to flash it and I'll go through the step-by-step -step process on how you actually do that so let's get on with it please make sure that you have um, you download from the link below you download your G apps you download your um, Mocky ROM firmware and you have them copy into your um, phone directory so that you can actually flash it up, up later on uh, when we actually boot up the uh, TWRP recovery for this phone so just remember that and um, of course uh, G apps itself I've tried with open G apps it doesn't work it have problem flashing open G apps so if you don't have the G app source for KitKat you can actually download from the link below so that you can have a G app footprint into your into your custom ROM so let's proceed with that so after you have downloaded all your all your um, firmware files G app files and copy it into your phone so the next step what we're going to do is to actually do the flashing itself but please uh, before you do that make sure you have adb installed i'll leave a link down below you can actually use minimal adb and fastboot which i think it's pretty handy it's easy to use uh, and you can just install it right so the next step that you need to do is to make sure that your phone is connected to the pc so from here itself you can do adb devices as you can see a device attached so now we will need to boot to fast boot mode so you can do an adb reboot boot loader enter and your phone should be booted into fast boot mode okay so once your phone is booted into fast boot so what you need to do now is actually to boot the recovery image so i mean there are a few ways you can actually do a um, flashing of the recovery image if you intend to use custom recovery all the time so my advice is if you are using a custom ROM, you should flash the custom recovery. Of course, if you are on stock ROM itself and you don't intend to uh, do anything, you just want to flash something on the stock ROM, so that then you can actually just boot the recovery. So in order to boot the recovery, you can actually just use fast. Uh, and, okay, before we start, uh, before we go into that, let, let's make sure that you have fast boot connected devices. As you can see fastboot is connected so what you can do normally if you just want to boot recovery you just use fastboot boot twrp recovery so but for our case since we are installing custom rom we should flash itself so you use fastboot flash recovery twrp right so what you do now is actually to permanently flash the recovery partition of your phone so when you are done with that you can actually go to your phone and boot into recovery mode so let's get on to the phone okay so once you have done with the uh, we are in fast boot mode now uh, you have flash your recovery so what you can do now is to use the vol volume rocker to move to a recovery option and just click on the power button to actually boot to the recovery that you have flashed okay so once you are in recovery mode as you can see now so what you can what we're gonna do now is to flash custom ROM, right? So first of all, before you do anything, you would you would need to wipe. So you can do an advanced wipe. 
normally uh, wipe everything except for the internal SD card because you don't need all that the data and all stuff right so you're actually wiping everything except for internal SD card and you can do a swipe to wipe everything off so we wait for this to be done once this is done you can actually start flashing your G apps as well as your Mocky ROM so as you can see the wipe is successful then you can go back go back go back and do an install then you move up to the directory that you have then you can actually put in more key get more zips G apps then once you're done that's what you can do now is just to swipe to confirm flash and the uh, ROM will start flashing together with the G app so you just need to wait for it to finish okay so now as you can see um, once you get a, a slight vibration when you start to unlock you should be able to see that all your uh, stuff have been installed so what you want to do now is you can actually do a wipe that will be cache normally I'll do that so we just wipe the cache so once you have wiped the cache you can actually reboot the phone and let it run for the first time so what you need to do now is to go on back then just do a reboot system so your phone should be booted in the new I mean to the custom ROM Moki Moki ROM custom Moki ROM okay so the phone has been booted as you can see now it's just in Mandarin so you need to basically look for English so that you won't have any problems doing the setup so you just go to English look for English 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 okay that's the one so you just tap on this oh okay so uh, skip Google account then you can skip the skip uh, you can turn off all this and just do a next so just do a next on this as well so we just can just Google keyboard somehow or rather just do a next finish most probably you need to actually download the keyboard again there's some issues with the keyboard and uh, there are like mocky apps and stuff and frankly if you ask me this one feels a bit lag as compared to CM maybe for a start uh, and of course they have some like mocky stuff that's available I mean you can actually try out both and see how it goes I mean the problem with keyboard you can actually just redownload it again if you want to so yeah and the minimal gf stuff is here so what i'm saying it's um so we have the rom flashed so what you need to do now is to just fix it and see which one is more suitable for you to use so if you take a look at the um, this one is really a bit lagging comparatively if you ask me uh cm one seems to be a bit snappier so for this one you can take a look at the uh the google keyboard is having problems again uh, so you might want to just switch it Switch your language and put to something else first. Um, and this might be because of the uh, some some reasons. I mean, like Google stuff and all those things. But um, you can ignore that for now, and we'll try to fix it later. Either you re-download again your Google keyboard, and this one really doesn't seems very good. If you ask me, if you look at the. Uh, the lag that they are having because of the Google keyboard maybe after the Google keyboard stuff is done it will be better so we can take a look at the it's basically based on uh, Android 4.4.4 and they do some animation stuff that is happening so um, so that's it for now if you're asking me if you want a custom ROM which is stable um, you can try rebooting this and see whether it actually fix anything but if you want a stable custom ROM I think the CM one is a bit more stable than this but of course if you know how to tweak this I think they should be comparable that's all for today if you like the video 
please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe for any future updates on uh, Galaxy Nexus, uh, Nexus devices uh, as well as some um, WebOS devices that I have as well as any new uh, gadgets and uh, stuff that I will get in the near future. So that's all for now. Uh, bye!